start <laughs> yeah I sat down to record this update and literally the nanosecond that I started talking I had an alarm go off because apparently I just started talking right at five o'clock today is October 5th so far I've been doing a good amount of sketching I'm really trying to find that balance between being intentional and precise and also like letting myself be messy when it comes to sketching because that's where a lot of the good ideas come from. So I've been sketching quite a bit in my sketchbook over there. Ooh, I will show those later on. There's a sketch that I really like in here that I did with the markers. I will show that now and then you'll see the rest of it later. So there's this, this little um, doodle. I don't want to call it a doodle because I put an average amount of time into it, maybe like 30-40 minutes. And I really, really like how it turned out. It's nice and it's a rough, like, learning type piece, but also I did it quite intentionally, which is the vibe I'm, I'm aiming for these days. I did use a reference, um, which is part of why it turned out good, because I don't think I would be able to match the exact curves and shadows if I was just doing this from imagination. I'm really excited to do some more marker stuff. Uh, this I started a couple days ago and I finished it up just now. Just working on getting used to like my brush pens. And I've noticed that I've grown pretty... Uh, <laughs> I've gotten into a bad habit of doing the same type of eye shape with uh, most of my drawings, which I don't, I don't love and I don't dislike. Um, other things... I started sketching out... I started sketching out um, the sketch for Early Bird. I'm not entirely satisfied with how it turned out so far. The main issue I have with it is that the desk just looks so massive in comparison to everything else, but because this is a framed like fragment of a scene rather than the entire scene, it's hard for me to get a grasp of the scale of everything. Yeah, I'm also kind of thinking maybe if I just do a flat wash, not a flat wash, like a, a wet wash of different colors and then just see where the shapes kind of take me, that could also be really fun and um, I would kind of approach the whole project without... Mm, how would I phrase this? Without being too meticulous about where everything is and without being too picky about everything being precise, pre uh, about the perspective being perfect, that sort of thing, because that could also be a very fun approach. Could definitely let me finish the project with more, um, finish the project in a more reasonable time and kind of embrace the, the flaws and the fun of watercolor. So that's another kind of process to another approach that I need to decide whether I want to take. So I'll just put those here. Then this, I was just doodling and I really liked how this was turning out, so I figured I might do it in watercolor, so I just started transferring this over. I don't want this to take me too long, so I might just work on it here and there between things. Just wanted to refresh my watercolor skills when it comes to painting skin and portraits and yeah. Also, I really wanted to do like a nice intricate tattoo and just in, in ink. And then the last little update right now is that I got a couple new supplies. Um, I did tell myself I wasn't gonna buy more new supplies, but um, it's my birthday soon, so I can't do anything wrong, okay? Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm just, I figured this is kind of my birthday gift to myself. I didn't get a whole bunch of, like, new things to try out. The only, like, mostly I got, like, refresh, refiller, filler, not refiller, what's the word? Replacement supplies, that's the word. 
yeah, I mainly got replacement supplies, so my white Posca pen is running low. Got a couple new of these, like, Marvi Le Pen, Marvi Uchida Le Pen colors, and, um, just to kind of flesh out my collection. I wasn't gonna get a, like, cool-toned one, but I tried this out in the store, and it's just, just so pretty. I don't know, I just got, like, a, a spark of happiness when I saw the color. It's just, it's really pretty. And I got these two because I felt like I was really lacking in my warm colors. Additionally, I got some filler, not filler, replacement gouache tubes. Just got a titanium white, and they didn't have the naphthol red spectrum, so I just got this pyrrole red primary because I just needed like a basic red, so I'm not gonna be too picky about, picky about the pigments. When I was checking out papers and stuff, I saw this little agave watercolor, this like little mini guy. Very cute. Um, thought I'd try it out because it's 30% cotton and I'm kind of just curious about different paper options around me as well as um, what is like a reasonable cost. So the I don't want to go above like $30 for a like roughly 9 by 12 size block. I think that's a reasonable price for me right now and that's what the uh, 9 by 12 block of this was about that price so I figured if I like this then that could also be an option. Right now the papers that I use are the Stonehenge cold press that's what this is this is a 7x10 and I've got a 11x14 um, so the 11x14 is obviously a bit more expensive than the 9x12 would be but I just wanted to push myself and do some more larger scale paintings. Last thing I got was this marker paper and um, I didn't really want one this is 50 pages and I don't know that I'll fill up 50 pages within the next, like, it's gonna take me a while to fill this out. But I've also seen people use these just for sketching, so that could be kind of interesting. Nothing like super spectacular, but just kind of filling out some basics that I've been uh, wanting. And yeah, my, my birthday's coming up, so I, I thought I'd treat myself a little bit. I say every single month <laughs> when I can. I'm not. <laughs> Look, I have I have very few good attributes, and uh, self control is clearly not one of those good attributes that I have. <laughs> yeah, that's October fifth. Um, I'm still editing the September video. Uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit chaotic right now because apparently when I'm sick, I just don't know how to shut up Which is true to today's recording because I've been talking for 12 minutes apparently and I'm not stopping apparently so um Yeah <laughs> Good luck to future me editing this and I will see you in the next update. Bye. Hello and welcome to I don't like the passage of time I have no idea if you can see my face. This is my face. Um, it's like 8.45 in the morning and I'm still really sleepy and I have a long weekend ahead of me. I need to sneeze. <laughs> this is what I get for interacting with the cat. Okay. Let me actually get started. So, today's... I don't know what day it is today. <laughs> today is October 28th. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed. I haven't been able to film an update in a little while because uh, frankly I had nothing to show for myself and I was putting it off until I had something to show and um, we have arrived at the end of October and it never fully happened. <laughs> I did a few things here and there. Um, actually, lately I've been focusing a lot more on digital art and I've really been enjoying that. I'm gonna get through this as fast as I can so I can take the sweater off and get all the cat particles away from me. I don't remember when I last filmed an update, so I'm just gonna start talking and hope it's not too repetitive. So, uh, one of the upcoming projects that I want to work on is Early Bird. At some point in October, I think, I got started on mapping it out on the watercolor block. Yeah, I've been taking it slow. 
um, to really trying to figure out like the composition and how to best tell the story that I, I want to tell with this. Um, on the back of this is my lighthouse uh, card piece thing. I don't still don't really know what to call it because I want to say trading card and that's what I've generally been referring to these as but um, I'm hoarding these all for myself. Nobody, I, I want them. Um, and then I started this at the beginning of October and I'm like I want to finish this by the end of October because the next one that I have ideas for the theme is ghost and I'm like oh October and Halloween it'll be perfect timing so I should finish this second one so I can move on to the third one and um, um something tells me that's not happening uh, I don't know what it is maybe it's the anxiety or the stress or the upcoming deadlines or the fact that I'm working today and tomorrow I was planning to be editing over the weekend and um, instead I will be doing homework I'm really um, hopeful that this will turn out really nice oh also um, I forgot to I don't know if I mentioned this at some point but I moved my desk around a little bit. Um, mainly, the main change that I made is that I um, put my little like shelf tower on the left side and um, a few reasons for this. The main one being so it's easier for me to put the, to the set the camera up without, you know, elbowing it and breaking everything. That's been, um, I haven't filmed enough to know that that's been good, but I feel like it's a good choice. Um, yeah, a couple rearrangements here and there just to, yeah, accommodate for things. Um, what else did I do? So this is October. Um, I did a couple, like, things. I'm really trying to do some more, like, urban type sketching and just, like, relax. You know, no, no thoughts, just make art. Like, don't overthink it. So, um, I was stuck on SkyTrain, like, literally, um, there was a delay, as there was... As there is a lot. Anyways, um, I was stuck on the sky train and I just started kind of painting and throwing stuff around and yeah. And then this, I, um, I went to visit a friend and I was waiting at the ferry terminal so I just started painting and then I went back over some of the sketches I did over here. This one was just like at the same time as this but this one I was from the sky train session. And then I, yeah, I went to visit my friend again and she had some she has some pets so I I drew one of her pets it's kind of and then this was the view from, from the window and I never finished that and then there's actually only one page left in this so um I well I guess one and a half like one in the back um but this I don't know if that's capable of holding paint um I think I do want to do like a an urban sketching type thing um, to finish it off just because that's what the original intent of this was, but we shall see where this takes me. <laughs> I think the theme of this month is is not me taking control, but me accepting what happens in the universe. What else is there? I <laughs> this. Um, um, I got this dot card. This was the Windsor Newton dot card. Um, I got this hmm, <laughs> like a week and a half ago at least, and I'm like, oh, I wanna, like, in one of my updates that I'll surely film really soon, I would like to talk about this before I do it, and then kind of discuss after I do it, and, um, didn't exactly go as planned. Oh, also, <laughs> I meant to film on my birthday and discuss thoughts and art and whatever, and, um, yeah, it didn't fucking happen. So, I did have my birthday. <laughs> didn't go... It was okay. My birthday tends to be, it's on like, my birthday usually falls on um, Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, uh, so people are usually busy. Um, this, literally yesterday I'm like, well this, <laughs> this one as well, I did yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to film this update this weekend. I'm gonna be embarrassed for myself if I don't have something, at least something. And honestly, I think that's the attitude that I need to have 100% of the time because like, this didn't take me that long to do. I think I, I you know, I was just overthinking it. Um, acrylic, this is acrylic gouache and I don't have much more to say about it. Uh, I'm just taking my time with this and kind of, I really want to learn how to paint clouds and specifically like the like luminescent clouds where it's really glowy from like backlit. And also I really like some of the like brush textures that have sh been showing up when I'm painting this. Um, like some of these like parallel lines are really pretty to me. 
That's honestly kind of a recurring thing in my in my art and my sketching these days. This was up here on the easel and it was out of my <laughs> train of thought so I forgot about it. Um, I haven't filmed that yet so it's fine. I've been kind of seeing a lot of like ink artwork across the internet these days. I wonder why. And uh, I'm like, I want to do some too. But um, I suck with ink. I'm, I'm really bad with brush pens. So, um, that's the end of that story. This is a sketch I started a couple days ago. Um, for once, I actually remembered to write down the date that I started sketching it because I've been getting in a bad habit of starting a sketch and being like, oh, I'll work on this tomorrow, and then I'll write the date when I work on it, and then I never work on it for, like, several days, and I forget when I started it. I'm planning to do this with watercolors, just kind of reacquaint myself with them and properly explore how watercolors work in the sketchbook, because I have yet to do that. I feel like I've been playing a lot with, like, typography and slowly we're filling in background details and you'll kind of see that in the sketchbook stuff that is chronologically before this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to turn kind of every like larger sketch that I do into an opportunity to practice integrating those details and background um, elements because um, I think like doing small, small and intentional background like quote-unquote studies or is it's gonna be equally effective for me as doing like a large piece every now and then if that makes sense so October um so for context this is kind of the last sketch I worked on in September um you might be able to tell that it's incomplete because I was overthinking things as I do. Anyways, some of my like I wrote jotted down some of my thoughts like uh sketchbook thoughts let yourself be messy it does not need to be good or presentable. Uh, sketching priority, add mixed media if it vibes. <laughs> I love that there, if it vibes. Um, yeah, so this, I've been kind of playing around with some different sketching tools, like we're going back to some of my mechanical pens and all that stuff. I think that um, I have a mechanical pen with, uh, I think it's 2H lead, and then one with 2B lead, something like that. Um, and I've been enjoying kind of doing the lighter sketch with the harder pencil and then going back with the darker pencil. Um, I really like this. I think it's really interesting to me for me to look back, not even look back, like look at my current art and see how much braver I'm getting with things that really used to be daunting for me. Like for me, these like sharp, um, precise lines, like leaning towards line art. Um, that's really, I'm really happy that I'm, like, less scared of that now. Um, some more random sketches, some ink pens. Um, I was reading a book about, like, <laughs> um, about, like, angels and the apocalypse, so flowers, wings. I love these sketching pens. Um, I've been having fun. This is Marker. I really love how this turned out. I am still kind of getting used to the markers. Once again, I'm finding myself like feeling a little bit limited by the colors that I have, but it's more that I haven't been able to take the time to explore the combinations and everything. Pen sketches, I really love this. This was with colored pencil and um, yeah, I have never really done a lot of like in-depth things with colored pencil because I'm far too impatient for that, but I'd love to do more and kind of learn how to do it. I feel like there was something behind here that I covered up like with gesso, but I can't really remember what it is. Um, more ink and brush pen things. I was probably doing this at the same time that I was doing the um, stuff on the larger sketchbook. Another thing I've been kind of thinking about a lot recently is like, if you don't like something in your sketchbook, then you can sketch something over it or cover it up because it's a sketchbook. Like it's not that serious. So I've been trying to um, remind myself of that mentality. So this is a painting that I did. Good opportunity to check that I'm in frame here. Yes, okay. So this is a painting that I kind of impulsively started. I um, started on the 4th, that's when the sketch was, and I finished it on my birthday, which was 8th. Um, I think probably because I wanted to, um, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna film this update on my birthday and talk about it. And um, I like how it turned out a lot, actually, but I also still really like the original because it's like her face looks pretty different between the two. I would say my favorite part of it is actually like the hair, like the, 
strands and the wavy details. And um, yeah, the only thing that I'd say I'm not like satisfied with is the tattoos because they feel like so two-dimensional and they were very unplanned, which uh, tattoos are not usually unplanned. Ink pen sketching, like I really, really love these sketching pens because and I've been doing a lot of eyes recently trying to work out like, you know, anatomy of an eye and, and stylization of it. Because I feel like <laughs> hilariously, like even though eyes are the thing that everybody sketches first and works on first, I am like weirdly struggling with them, like the placement of them, getting them to match, all that stuff. Um, this, I've been trying to read a lot more and I'm like, honestly the best way to kind of get back into reading is to read things that you've already read. So I, um, I got out I Am Number 4 from the library and that series is like one of my guilty pleasures. They're pretty bad, like generally pretty, pretty badly written and also there's a lot of controversy around, um, the author. But, um, baby boy stuff, lines. I like this sketch. I think another like really, um, this was also on my birthday. I was like, I don't want to talk about emotions. I don't know. I was just kind of feeling down at the end of it. Cause like it was the first birthday in a long time where I wasn't working. And I'm like, oh, this is a really nice opportunity to like hang out with people. And I'm like, oh, most of my friends are not living nearby. And I didn't, I, did I cry? I don't remember. <laughs> is it really your birthday if you don't cry? I don't know. Um, this, again, trying to go back to that logic of like, if you don't like something, you can cover it up. I did some ink stuff in the background and I'm like, uh, these faces are not the best. So I threw some gesso over it and then I went over with, I don't know if this is regular gouache or acrylic gouache. Um, but after that I went over with some pencil crayon because again, I'm still in that mindset of like, maybe I'll, I want to, I want to work more and learn how to use pencil crayons. I'm just, uh, um, for my comic, I want to like be better at drawing like characters interacting with each other. Um, more sketching practice, and then these were like little thumbnails for um, the card series. So the first one was Lighthouse, the second one here is Lover Lost at Sea, uh, and then again the next one that I want to do is Ghost, and I think I've got some sketches, yeah, the next page has some sketches. Um, and I was kind of mapping out some potential thumbnails for that. Yeah, just thinking about the word ghost, I quite like this one. Hopefully that's in frame, and if it's not, I don't care. Essentially, each side, I feel like I explain this every month. It's a scene, and then like something relating to a skull. So, um, and the, they're like thematically tied. So this one is lighthouse and lover lost at sea. So both of them have that like water ocean theme. And then they all have a similar color palette. And then for the next one, I wanted to do Ghost and Home Without a Heart. Um, so color palette, I was thinking either like a green and purple vibe or actually like a black and white vibe. We'll kind of see how it goes. Kind of based on this sketch, um, I went and I did this, which is pretty similar, but uh, I just found that um, it was a bit more helpful to work in the values for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that would be for Ghost, I think. And then... I was trying to figure out like home without a heart, like what that would be, and I'm still not super sure. But um, I folded it up in a very specific way so that I could have this one be visible and not cover up this one. <laughs> Bit of an, a weird like little funk. I think I just wanted to finish off some of my markers. Oh, this one. I watched Bottoms with my sister. It was very good. Ruby Cruz, I would die for you. Um, I started doing the sketch, and it doesn't really look like her, but. I'm glad I tried. And then just this to try and keep it from sketching. Um, this, I had an exam and I brought my sketchbook with me that week and I finished my exam and I'm like, let's doodle, let's just doodle. Um, so drew some witches and it started smudging. That's why I put this paper here. Drew some like witches and, and fey folk and monster type things. Like this is a little siren in the corner. Um, this, I think I also did this after my exam. I had just some like, I keep highlighters with me like most students do. Um, so I just started sketching and doing things over them in pen. Um, this, I started sketching them out in just some erasable ones, erasable colored pencils. Um, and I hated how all of the sketches were turning out, so I, um, I'm like, cover it up! Uh, so I did some stuff with acrylic gouache, and uh, it took me several days. Some of these I finished on the 15th, some of these I finished on the 20th. <laughs> I was never really intending for them to take that long, but things just kept happening this month and yeah. And then these guys, these are probably my two, like, I'm just really proud of these ones. 
Um, so I just had a like pencil that I was really like wanted to finish off. It was a little stub at that point and I'm like, I'm done with this. I don't like sketching with this. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't like help me sketch or, or make me feel more confident in sketching. So I just want to finish it off. Um, unfortunately I have that mindset of like, don't throw things away, don't waste things. Um, so it's like, use it until it cannot be used anymore. So I think I started off with this sketch and then just kind of like did a lot of things around it and continued with that until the page was filled. This one took me also several days. I think I started it probably like the same day or um, like the day after this. So this was the 20, so this side was on the 22nd. And then this one I finished on the 25th. Um, so I was pretty busy with busy that day with assignments and whatnot. So I'm just like, okay, I'm not gonna have time to paint. So let's just like do some sketching over the next couple of days and work on something. Um, yeah, I'll flip it upside down. It is intended to be this way. Oh gosh, like this is the intended direction, but I did flip it as needed. Um, so it's, it's, um, Hell Girl again. I was thinking a lot about like filling in the spaces. So with this, I was thinking a lot about different patterns and ways to fill the space without just like sloppy coloring it in. When I was doing the previous page, I was, I got thinking about Hell Girl because, um, there's something about that, like, I want to say like early 2000s anime style where patterns on 3D objects are like 2D patterns. Um, so like within Hell Girl, you'll see, you, um, you'll see her like kimono, um, the pattern on it is like a 2D print, even though she might be moving around and doing things partially just because of like the technology at the time. Um, but also I like the idea of it stylistically. I think it's really interesting. So I just like took the three or whatever days that it was while I was, was doing other stuff and slowly like filled in bits and pieces. And so more, yeah, I'm trying to finish off that freaking pencil. Then I also wanted to finish off, um, oh I did finish it. Um, this like pink sketching pencil and um, I'm like losing steam here. Um, these are the last couple things. So this was ink. I did like a little sketch there and then I just started Again, probably, I'm gonna assume that I just didn't like how it was turning out and that's why I started going over it with ink. And I think I got to the point where I'm like, at this point you're just like sketching things without any like rationale or intention, so just take a bit of a break. Um, I've been trying to do more stuff with markers, so I started sketching this out. And I really love how the sketch and the ink turned out actually. And when I went over it with marker, I'm like, eh, it's just not, not clicking right now. Um, honestly, yeah, but this is probably like one of my favorite sketches I've done in a while because it happened so naturally and it um, matches what my goals are right now, if that makes sense. So it's just like, you know, some parts are messier, some parts are cleaner, but I, I don't know. I just like it. I'm not going to try and logic it out. Um, yeah, so I will put this here. That's the end of the sketchbook for October 2023. The only other art that I've been working on is digital stuff. Um, I finished up the illustrations for the uh, character sheets for AJ and I actually, um, I finished off the main illustrations and then I'm like, oh, it'd be so cute to have like little Polaroids so that you can see their faces more closely and like play around with lighting and those Polaroid paintings are taking me forever because I'm thinking too much about um um yeah that's it for October a lot of like I feel like it's been a lot of like little things which is kind of what I was expecting and kind of hoping for because I, I knew that I'd be busy from September onwards taking things one step at a time and doing things where I can making art in ways that are intentional trying to add in backgrounds and give myself the time and space to add in those details. Yeah, just a lot of thinking. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this video is probably gonna be a little bit um, less clean cut than, uh, than I would prefer because I haven't filmed anything in like two weeks. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, what is this? What am I doing? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.
Thank you.